Hey guys, so before you get started, you're going to gather your tools and decide on which roller size you want to use. For the person whose hair I'm doing today, I use the pink and the blue. And there's more information about every single product I use to create the style, as well as um, more information about the rollers. So to get started, I always measure the sections that I'm going to be rolling and make sure they're not wider than the roller, and then also that the section isn't thicker than the size of the roller. And that's a really good guide to help you get your sizes correct so that they're not too thick, they're not too thin, they're just right. And then I detangle the hair before I get started. And I'm just going to show you a couple of sections in the back. I couldn't really film the front very well, it's kind of blocking the camera. <laughs> so I take a modified Denman brush, or you can also use the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush. I make sure I get the section really smooth and I saturate the hair with water. I go all the way to the end and make sure that I'm putting a lot of tension and you'll notice that I'm placing the roller on top of the hair and that's just so that I can get the roots a little bit smoother since we are roller setting completely natural hair as you saw in the beginning. And then I use straight pins mainly to um, hold the rollers in place. And again, more information about the products and close-up pictures and everything is down in the description box. So we dried her for 45 minutes under a hooded dryer. Um, just a regular hooded dryer from like Walmart, it's Conair, and her hair is dry. And you can see that it is pretty smooth and straight. So you have a couple of options from here. You can either style it like this. And so what I did was apply a little bit of Nurtrex White Oil. I love this oil because it gives so much shine and it actually keeps the hair like a lot more moisturized from that water that you saturated. So we're just sealing it and giving the hair a lot of shine and protection. And then I decided to flat iron each piece. We went over it one time at 375 and then combed out the hair and here's the results. It's nice and full and thick and she's able to wrap it to keep the straightness and the smoothness and we use very very minimal direct heat so it's super healthy for the hair she was really pleased she's a teenager a senior in high school so this is like her first time having her hair straightened and she, like I said she was really happy so I do have these rollers available on longingforlength.com for those who are interested please check the description box for more information Thanks for watching. Take care and stay blessed.